We got another one. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's time to eat. You can do it. I know it's intimidating. Uh, it's a large cut of meat, um, but it's more art than science. Uh, just plan on getting these three things right. So your temperature, we're gonna keep that temp between 225 uh, all the way up to you know 265 and go up. Uh, we're gonna keep our smoke consistent. So we wanna have a lot of smoke to create that amazing bark. And then just time. Uh, so you need at least anywhere between seven hours uh, all the way up until maybe 11, depending on your cut of meat. Uh, we'll go over how long mine is going to take, but you can do it. It's intimidating, but just plan on kicking back today, uh, babysitting this meat, basically. And um, at the end, it's all going to be worth it because it's going to come out amazing. But let's go ahead and get started on how you get everything set up. So with our grill, we're going to go with the snake method. <clears throat> and the way the snake method go, once we actually light our chimney, we're going to place the lit coals at the beginning. So like here. And then as the fire goes, <clears throat> it's going to go all the way around until it gets to the end. But that's going to lead to a low and slow cook. So it's not going to get too hot because we're going to start it here until the coals naturally burn around until it gets to the end. So let's go ahead and get our beef brisket out of the packet and we're going to chop some of the fat off uh, just because a lot of it won't render well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some of that fat chopped down. I'll show you how much I chop off, but it's totally up to you um, and then we'll go from there. All right. So this is the cut I'm working with uh, right now. I have a eight and a half pound brisket in front of me and what I'm going to do, I'm going to start. I'm, I have it on the fat side and so I'm going to start cutting right up in here this piece right here is really thick I don't know if you can see it on camera but it's really thick so I'm gonna chop a little bit of this off not much um, this part I'm probably gonna leave uh, this is a decent amount of fat nothing too bad right here but right up in here I'm gonna trim this down so let's go ahead and get that started saw we chopped a lot of the excess fat off uh, like I said we left a good bit of it but we just wanted to chop a lot of the excess fat that's probably not gonna break down very well so now that we have that cut down now we're actually gonna rub our brisket down with olive oil uh, so that when we put our seasoning on there it sticks and then once we do all of that we're ready to throw it on the grill so let's go ahead and get that rubbed down and go from there So we have the brisket rubbed down. Now we're gonna take our seasoning that we made and we're gonna liberally apply this. So you want a good amount on here. It's a big cut of meat, so definitely don't be stingy with it. So we're gonna apply this all over, applying it to the fat side right now. Uh, in a second, we're gonna flip this over and apply it to the meatier side. And like I said, once we get all of this applied, then we'll be ready to Throw this right on the grill. All right, grill temp at 275, so it's ready to go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and grab the brisket, throw it on the grill. We're probably gonna keep that closed for about an hour and a half or so, 
um, just to let that smoke really get in there before we check it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we're at the hour and a half mark. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the grill open, see what it's looking like so far. Oh, so we can see it's turning out pretty good so far. This is after just an hour and a half. We're already starting to get some good crust on there, good bark, nice juices that are pooling. That's gonna be a very juicy brisket when it comes out. Looking forward to it. So at this point, we're three and a half hours into the smoke. We're gonna see what our brisket is looking like. Let's see. Oh man, so that's turning out really well. You can see it's got a good crust on it. Everything's looking really good on it. So we're just gonna let that continue to cook. But it's turning out just how we want it. All right, so at this point, we're at the six and a half hour mark of having the brisket smoking on the grill. So let's open it up and take a look at it. Oh yeah, we can tell the, so the bark has formed really well on this brisket. Um, it's still really moist. So it's looking pretty good. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our brisket, we're gonna wrap it in the aluminum foil right here, fold it on the top, <clears throat> and then we're gonna poke holes in it so that it can still breathe and get in a good bit of smoke. All right, so we just hit the seven hour and 40 minute mark. So our meat is looking good. Uh, we just hit it with the temp gauge and it was showing that it was 170. So that's well done for us. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and take this off. Uh, we're gonna transfer this to a cooler inside for it to rest for about an hour and a half or so, probably an hour, give or take. But we'll go ahead and take this off because it's actually done. Uh, we just needed to rest and absorb those juices. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now is that moment we all been waiting for. Uh, our brisket has been resting for an hour and 10 minutes now. So it should be ready to actually cut. Uh, it's reabsorbed all those juices. And so uh, we're ready to eat at this point. So let's go ahead and get our brisket out of the cooler and get ready to cut it. So our brisket is rested for the last hour. So now we're ready to do our taste test. So let's see if those eight and a half, eight hours, 45 minutes actually that we put into cooking, uh, let's see if it's actually done. So let me go ahead and get my piece. So I got my piece. Let's see. Mm. So immediately, man, the smoke got into the fat really well. So you instantly taste how well that that smoke penetrated that fat and then with the meat it has a nice texture to it, it has a nice chew to it so it's not tough but you get a, a little bite to it which i really like so man this is easily some of my best work hopefully some of your best work as well i know it's one of those things that's really challenging you think eight nine hours for a cook and it can be a little intimidating but this just shows that it's well worth the labor. So hopefully yours turned out really well. Tell me how it went for you. I want to know. But, man, I just want you to enjoy this meat. Because, oh my God. Delicious. Hey, thanks for watching Egg Still Barbecue. I greatly appreciate you. Uh, definitely like, subscribe, turn your notifications on. Uh, it helps me out. helps my videos get seen. So, 
Uh, if you found this video extremely helpful, definitely like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate it. Till next time, and still barbecue.